Neville Goddard also believed that death is not really the end and that we do live on and on and on and on. Neville Goddard actually said one day in the future scientists will find out that there's parallel realities or parallel universes. So he even believed in that and that was decades ago and now we do have physicists who finally get there and think oh that might be actually true. <laughs> So we do have to absolutely reconsider our concept of reincarnation. Watch my videos of this death series playlist to understand more of what I'm talking about. But today I want to talk about the Never Got A Crude going back to 20. And here is a little part of one of his speeches where he is talking about going back to 20. For the world does not end where our senses cease to register it. When a man dies, as we call him dying, he doesn't cease to be, he is solidly real, restored in a body just like this, only he is young. He is about 20, he drops off at 90, he finds himself 20, restored to life. But he hasn't changed one iota. His ideas that were present before he died are his ideas after, whatever they were. If he was stupid here, he is just as stupid there. If he was a thief here, he is a thief there. If it, whatever he is, he is it there. And they don't even know that they have departed this section of time. They do not know because no one dies. God is the God of the living and nothing dies. Because it doesn't die, how can you tell a man when you're looking at him and you're talking to him, don't you know I went to your funeral? He laughed at you. What funeral? Well, I went to your funeral. I saw them put you down into the little grave. And he starts to laugh at you. So you're insane. Because he knows he is not dead. But he doesn't know that he went through the so-called gate that we on this side of the veil call death. Okay, so do I believe that we always go back to 20? Well, of course not. You have enough videos on this death series now where people who died in one timeline jumped back just a couple of seconds or minutes like before this incident happened you know it's like the universe split and there's one path that is leading to death on that date and then there's one where this doesn't happen and the person experienced this and then jumped back to right here where the cross is and then experienced not dying and this here may be seconds apart or just minutes or maybe a couple of hours so that can differentiate but i do believe that we do live through every single outcome every possibility that the universe has created for us so some of those crosses they are way back so there may be a timeline where your parents moved when you were very little and you went to a completely different school met completely new people and that took you on a completely different path in life. So there is probably minor alterations between let's say timeline A and B and C, but there's major alterations between timeline A and Z. And then of course, it's not just A to Z, it is infinite timelines. So I believe in situations where, and I have to say, this is my belief, this is my assumption. This is nothing that I can say, it is definitely so, okay, it is something I believe but I believe if we do experience a death that is before let's say our due date <laughs> even though that is a due date in that specific timeline because creation is finished and it was always meant to happen on that day but let's say it is way before we died of old age so we do have for example this car accident in let's say our 20s then we go back just this short moment and then take the other timeline where that situation did not happen. Most people probably won't even remember that. I think that is what's common, that we do forget dying and then all of a sudden not dying, but there are some people due to glitches in the matrix, but are they really glitches? Or was it always supposed to happen? I believe the latter. <laughs> but then there's people who do remember, oh my God, I had this fatal accident and then I jumped back in time and I didn't. 
But I do believe that if we make it like to an older age, that then we go back to, let's say 20. Does it have to be 20? No, but we go back to a younger age to relive that life over again, but with minor alterations or maybe even with bigger alterations. When we first made the experience of not moving as a kid with our families, we now may go back to childhood where that move happened and we make this completely different experience in life and live the same life over again with the same family, same setting, same birth date and everything like that, but completely different. Of course, situations like birthdays could change as well because in one timeline, maybe you were born a little bit prematurely and in another one, you were born on the due date and another one, maybe a couple days later. So even that I believe can be a little bit different, which of course means that we do have completely different birth charts in astrology, if you believe in that, I do. <laughs> which means our character may be also a little bit different in different timelines. Maybe in a couple we are more the introverts and then there is experiences where we are more extroverted. Again, every possible outcome has been created and we get to make all of them. So does going back to 20, I don't think that that is always the case. And again, I don't think 20 is a fixed number anyway. I think that is just an example that he used. Maybe it is something that he experienced by talking to someone or encountered someone who made that specific experience. I do not know, but I don't believe 20 is set in stone. So again, to sum it up, I believe that if we die way before our, like, let's say normal time, old age time, then we may jump back just a moment. And if we go and make it to old age, then maybe we jump back significantly in time and experience another timeline. But again, that is what I believe. <laughs> Please let me know what do you believe. I'm very interested in that. Please check out the entire death series playlist, my other manifestation playlist, my subliminals and affirmation tracks to work on your self-concept, to manifest anything you desire. If you need more help, then you can reach out to me and I do see you in another video on personal coaching. And till then, I do wish you all the best now. Bye-bye.